Today we're doing a bathroom showcase, so let me go ahead and get the lighting set up for you. This set is a showcase style set. That's why we don't have a room built out with walls or any of that decor. It's just on a white background. A lot of these seams and things will be cleaned up. So in the final image, it'll look like it's on a white background. Over here, we have a pro photo, bare bulb. This is our key light. This is creating our hard shadows on the furniture coming from camera left. Uh, I have this diffuser here and I have it really, really close because I didn't want the shadows to be super hard, but this diffuser is the only one we have left to use today. And this is a little bit softer than I would have liked. So I have it as close as I can to diffuse the light a little bit less, uh, but still keep some diffusion on it. And then next to it, I have this other pro photo in a V flat. This is just providing fill light from the key light side. And this is a little bit brighter than this third light I have over here, which is another fill light coming from camera right. So this one's a little bit dimmer, just so we, you see more light coming from this side than you do from camera right side. And then over here, I have a little kind of kicker side light. Um, I did a showcase a while ago, and I put a side light on the side, obviously. And I really like the edge light that it gave, so I'm trying it again here, and I'm liking how it's looking. Um, I have a grid on this, and a reflector obviously, because you have to put the grid onto the reflector. And this is keeping some of this light off of the wall back here. You have a little bit of light reflection coming from bouncing off the mirror. I did try to tape it off a little bit, but I would have to tape the whole mirror on the back and in the end it's going to be a little bit easier just to retouch this out than it is to spend a bunch of time taping the back of the mirror. Okay, here's a little update. I had this, or I moved this diffuser because the art director came over and liked the hard shadows from the furniture. So all I've done is just tilt this aside and moved it out of the way. So now we have just a bare bulb straight on the furniture, giving us some hard shadows. Our camera is back here and it's kind of at a lower angle because I want it to be more straight on. There's a little bit of height so you can, so you can see kind of what's on the top of the dresser there. I'm using a Canon 5D Mark IV. I have a 2470 lens. This shows that it's parked around 60 on the computer, which it says it's it's actually at 70 millimeters. My camera settings are ISO 400, 1 1 60th of a second, and F 7.1. All right, so you can see in the back part of this cabinet, we have a hole here. So what I've done is cut a piece of this foam core it's about the size of the back cabinet and I'm just gonna gaff tape it back there and close up this so you can't see through to the wall. So since putting in the cardstock back there, I've had to put another light up front to light up the inside. This is a Profoto D2. It has a seven inch reflector, I believe it's seven inch their standard reflector. There's a five degree grid on that to make the ball of light just smaller to go inside the cabinet and not spill too much around. I do have a diffuser in front of this, which I know people say defeats the purpose of using the grid, but it's better to start out with the smaller, uh, more focused ball of light and diffuse that because I wanted some of the hard shadow from the door to be diffused as much as I could, and that's why I have the diffuser on that. So this is our second style out, other than this new addition of the light lighting inside the cabinet. The lighting is pretty much the same. I did move this light here forward a little bit. Uh, earlier it was kind of between this A-frame metal piece, and it was lighting up the 
item that was here, I think it was the hamper earlier. So today I have this thing lighting up the edge of this little table. 